What is it that convinces robbers that small shops and restaurants are good places to hold up? Surely anyone with half a brain knows that big chain stores are insured up to the eyeballs and won't fight you for the contents of their cash tin. But time and time again, hold-ups happen in takeaway joints like this. And the owners aren't just going to hand over everything they've spent months earning. So, choosing your target carefully is the first battle. The second is to try to avoid being let out the door by your hood and getting slapped around the head as you go. Bailing out of your robbery so easily will leave you in this situation, which we see in every small restaurant and corner shop robbery. This is the moment where the owner is standing outside the front of his shop trying to decide whether to return victorious to his counter or to chase you down the road and finish off the pummeling he started. It's a tough choice. If it had been a branch of Tesco's, they'd have just handed over all their cash, but as it is, all this hooded hoodlum left with was a damn good bruising.